Yeah, yeah, let's hear it, brother. All right, so Deshaun Watson got hurt today. It's been a long time since I've seen a stadium cheer for an injury. And uh, I don't like to see guys get hurt, but Jesus, man, I'm kind of glad he did. Welcome back to Fango Media. I'm Tommy. I'm outside of the Factory of Sadness where the Browns are trailing the Bengals in the fourth quarter. Uh, just a couple moments ago, we had a sea of people exiting the stadium. Looks like uh, the crowd's going to start picking up here soon. So uh, we'll check in with some of these fans to see uh, what their thoughts are about that game. Just uh, what do you think about the state of the Browns right now? This team sucks. Hey, listen, this is not even the end of the fourth quarter. You see, a quarter of the fans are leaving. It's got to get better. The only thing that they got to see today was probably the best first quarter of the season so far. So, I mean, the only thing we can do from here is go up, right? Go Packers. Jordan Love season. Let's go. Pack is back. Anything about the Browns? I hate them. Yeah, go for it. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> so, let's start for the Bengals. Finally starting to get on track, you think? I think so. We're, uh, we're looking a whole lot better, man. Uh, guys were injured on defense that are finally coming back, so, you know, it's, it's slow, but it's happening, you know? A lot of close game losses, too, for you guys to, you know, start to iron that out in the late late game. I think the schedule gets easier, yeah, for one. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll take losses against the Ravens and the Chiefs, as long as you don't give up games against the Patriots. What you thought the commanders would come in and be things of that nature. So, take something, Luke. You win some, lose some. But I do think we clean it up on the second half of the season, for sure. Browns suck. We all suck. It's terrible. Yeah. What he said? They haven't had a defense all year long. And, uh, Cleveland's defense is absolutely top notch, and Joe Burrow stepped up to be Joe Burrow. Bengals needed this if they had any hope of getting in the playoffs. So, uh, huge win. Yeah, huge yeah. Win. they got a pretty easy uh, second half of the season coming up for the Bengals. What, what are your expectations there? Well, I, I know that Pittsburgh, their last 10 games are killer. The Browns have a tough finishing. I think the Bengals, if they put it together and stay healthy, I think they're going to be just fine to make the playoffs. Yeah. I'm not even a Bengals fan. Yeah. I'm wearing this for him. First time, Steeler fan, first time in her life. No one's ever seen. I came all the way to Cleveland. Damn. 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 They're so mad. The so Bengals. Oh. They cheated. She they cheated. Oh. Yeah. These mad. Damn. 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 <laughs> they <laughs> so mad. Who the? No. You got it. Let's, let's, let's hear some, some Browns talk here. We got the cheat. They cheated us. Mm. So that's oh, why yeah, I don't feel we cheated. Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't feel we cheated. Yeah, that's, that's what why. money do. Oh. Y'all paid them. We ain't got no money. They do got a private airport that Joe Cool flew on. Yeah. You about to fly the fuck out. Oh, we, you better hope we get back home safe. We get back you home safe. Like, we're home safe. Who they? I'll meet you there, Joe. What I need to do is look for Jerry Judy more. I think there's a lot of, like, opportunities that they had, but they just didn't look towards his way. I don't think he had a target all game. Yeah, no. And yeah. I think that's a problem because he's one of our best players on offense. Um, well, you guys had a slow start to the season. Are things going to start turning around here? Uh, it just really depends on our defense and our offensive line. I think our, I think we have a championship offense, but it really just depends on our defense and our offensive coordinator. So. so, But it was a good game nonetheless. Yeah. Really slow start to the fourth quarter. Yo, let me interview. Yeah, dude. This Yo. is a sweet fit. Yeah. Can we... The Bengals. Yeah. Is that, yeah. You got anything else to say about them? Uh, they, I mean, like... Jamar Chase, he, I mean, he's the best guy, but we shut him down, though. Yeah. yeah. We did shut him down. The, the secondary, like, like I, I will say, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I think that's the positive is the secondary like good. But, guys, if, you're, if you guys are going to talk smack, you got to come in camera and talk yeah, smack. You yeah. can't just stand behind the, the Bengals and talk smack. Oh, exactly. Man. What was the score again? How many subscribers you got, big guy? 20,000. 20,000. Solid, boy. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, what's your YouTube channel? Stango. Here, I'm going to get you a card right here, brother. Stango. There you go. I just sir. hit 2K on my OnlyFans. Atta boy! <laughs> Nick Chubb scored a touchdown, and I'm excited for their uh, new stadium. Okay. Well, what would you think about it? I actually didn't watch what's it up? at all. Would you just drink the whole time? Yes. You guys want to talk about the Browns? Yeah, we talk about the Browns. Yeah? Yeah, what's there to talk about? But what did you see? Uh, anything positive at all? Defense stayed strong. That's about it. Gave the offense a chance, but the offense can't put anything together. Can't execute. What do you think about Nick Chubb coming back? I mean, people are really excited about it, but the O line just I don't know if there's gonna be any production. What do you think? Yeah, I mean it's big having him back, but if you want to keep him long term, don't. There's no need to overuse him right now. Not today, man. Not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. Next week against the Ravens, right? right? We'll, we'll get him next right, week. You know. Right now, easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? Do you think we're gonna win a game at home this year? I certainly hope so. Um, it would be nice. And I think one of the things that they need to not focus on is 
this new stadium. Why don't we try to work on the talent and what we have here and try to build a winning team instead of trying to spend money to move the, the facility to Brook Park. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I really hope that they would spend their resources and try to work with the talent they have, recruit new talent, good talent, both on the field and off the field. And I think that that's really what the Browns need. Yeah, let's hear it, brother. All right, so Deshaun Watson got hurt today. It's been a long time since I've seen a stadium cheer for an injury. And uh, I don't like to see guys get hurt, but Jesus, man, I'm kind of glad he did because, you know, $10 million per accusation, that's a lot of money to pay a weird for a guy. Go Browns. Krusty Krab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Stay in there. That's why I'd be fair. <laughs> Good Browns. Whatever you guys got to oh, say, really. Season's over. Every year, same result. I mean, Watson's awful. I mean, we should never trade tank, a Baker. Tank for Cam yeah. Ward. I want Cam Ward. Yeah. yeah. At this point, I uh, agree. No. I mean, when, oh, can we talk about Baker Mayfield for a oh, second? No. Yeah. We wish him the best. Or even Joe Flacco, too. I know he didn't yeah. play today, but he yeah. filled yeah. in for Richardson. Yeah. Looked incredible. Where, where's he at? Uh, Colts. Not Colts. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Deshaun so Watson's the worst guy to ever touch a football for the Cleveland Browns. Guy's an absolute loser. I mean, get I'm going to say, wait, time out, time out. Out of respect. Yeah. Yeah. I really hope he's not too injured, but would it be better if he was out for the season? Oh, for sure. I, I mean, the season's a wrap. He it's really over. is. I understand, injured. but like with the current, with what we have, and it's one in six now, is it better off that we just do what we can with. Yeah. Tank. 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 Yeah, you know, I think I agree. What do you think about the game? Anything positive you can take away from it? Um, not the fan base, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. We're just disappointed with the fans? Yes. Wait. When, I, when I hear people uh, cheering for Sean to go down. It's, it's not a great look. I think it would, they, there needed to be a quarterback change anyway, but you don't want to see it happen that way. And I, I agree. I think people cheering for an injury is not a good look. I, I, people say they wanted uh, Winston, but I, I like DTR. I like the DTR play. Do we know what happened with the Winston? Like why he didn't? No, just a demotion, I guess. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Give the young, young, young kid a shot. Yeah, right. Watson sucks. That's all I want to say. Were you glad to see DTR in, or would you rather see Winston? DTR. Yeah. Why do you Why do you think so? Because Watson is just overrated, and he just sucks. I don't know. He just sucks. Like I don't know. He just sucks. What do you want to say? Vaughn sucked this year. Yeah. yeah. It's always next year, right? Yeah. And then what did you think about DTR? Were you surprised to see him? Did you like anything that you saw? I mean, not surprised to see him because, you know, uh, Watson got hurt and everything. But, you know, I definitely like – I feel like the offense played better with him for sure. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think a lot of people were expecting uh, Jameis Winston to come in there, though. DTR knows the system a lot better. Yeah, yeah we know what Jameis Winston brings, but DTR is probably going to give you a little bit more consistency than Jameis. Surprised to see uh, DTR come in? Yeah, yes and no. I mean, a lot of the fans seemed to have wanted somebody different than Watson, for you know, but – this is the circumstances to make it happen. So now we got to deal with what we got to deal with next man up. Give me one positive takeaway from today's game. Uh, it's nice to have, and it's nice to have Nick Chubb back. Beautiful weather, yeah, and, and nice to have him back. Yeah, that would be my that'd be my positive takeaway from today. You think uh, Nick? Any promise for Nick Chubb or is the O line just that bad? O line is that bad. Uh, I want to say he's rusty, but you definitely need to warm up in his comeback. Right, you trade away your best. Wide receiver, uh, with the expectation that Jerry Judy's the next man up, and then I guess Njoku and Cedric Tillman lead in the targets, probably. Just, yeah. How do you feel about Nick Chubb going back though? Uh, I think this game was just like a test to see how he would fit in, but I think he's gonna be helpful for the rest of the season. 